Today we will be discussing how to create and use global modules in the HubSpot COS. As you can see, we're in the content editor. Once you download or purchase a template, this is where you'll be able to edit all your information. You can edit the page title, the URL, the content of your site. This is your home base. Global modules are great for if you really like how something looks on one page and want it to appear exactly the same on another page. This is good for headers and footers and modules that just should be identical between pages. So how to create a global group. First, go down to Actions and choose Edit Template Layout. This will bring you into the back end of the template builder. As you can see, you have all your different modules here. There's your logo, your menu, your header, your columns, everything you need. And when you click preview, you can see how your site looks. So, Say I don't want this navigation down here beneath the logo. Say I want it up as HubSpot does on the upper right hand side. I can simply click and drag and that will move the module. Now this doesn't look great. I'm not going to get in and mess with any of the CSS, but here's how you make that a global module. Say you really like the way that looks now, and that's how you want it to appear on all of your pages. You need to group the items first. So click Group Modules. Click on each of your modules that you want to group, and then choose Create Group. You see how they have a box around them now? That means that they're grouped and they're together as almost one module. So click the gear and choose Make Group Global. As you can see, it will be added to the Global Groups folder in your Layout Manager, and you can add, you'll be able to insert it into other layouts and reuse it. So choose Make Group, Gro Make group Global, name your group, and create the global group. Now you can see that those two modules have become one and it's green. That's how you know that a module has become a global group. If you choose preview, you can see that our site looks identical. There's no box around it or anything to show that it's global. But on the back end, you can clearly see that this is a global group and you will be able to insert into other pages. To add the group to another page, simply add a new module choose swap module under the gear and down at the bottom you'll be able to find your new basic global group so choose it select it and now your group is repeated on the page of course this is a header you would not put that at the bottom of the page but it's just an example to show how easy it is to add global groups to other pages or sections of your page when you're satisfied with how your site looks, just choose Create or Update. It will tell you down in the corner if it's been successfully created. Choose Back to Editor. And then if you click Save, it will update your page to reflect your changes. So now you have your two global groups and they're exactly as you built them. So you may continue editing your page, and when you publish them, you will have successfully taken advantage of the Global Groups module.